Net a Porter is a high fashion retailer that operates via a website designed in the style of a magazine. It was launched in London in June 2000 by Natalie Masnet. Now a global operation, with multiple fashion retailing sites and some 2,600 employees, it is part of the Swiss holding company Richemont. The website garners approximately 2.5 million unique visits in Internet traffic to their website every month. History Masnet is an American-born former fashion journalist with Women's Wear Daily and Tatler. She developed the concept of a magazine in website format where users could click to buy while trying to source product online for a fashion shoot. Having raised the A1.2 million pound startup costs with the assistance of her then husband, Masnet launched the company from their flat in Chelsea. In the early days, the operation was so low key that the company's black delivery boxes were stacked up in the bathtub. Initially, Designers and investors were reluctant to support Netta Porter because it lacked a physical retail outlet. Masnet recalled the credibility gap in a 2013 interview in The Observer, they'd listen and they'd nod and then afterwards they'd say, just tell me one more thing, where is your store? However, in 2001, Roland Moore it was persuaded to sell his collection via the website. By 2004, the same year in which it won Best Fashion Shop at the British Fashion Awards, the company was profitable. In 2010, Masnet sold a majority stake in Netta Porter to Swiss designer goods holding company Richemont for an estimated A50 million pounds. She remains an investor and executive chairwoman. In 2014, retiring CEO Mark Sever was sent off by employees in a popular viral video. Current operation, at the time it was bought by Richemont in 2010. Net a Porter was valued at $533 million. The business continues to grow and in 2013 it retailed products from more than 350 designers, attracted more than 2 million monthly visitors to the site and an average spend of A500 pounds. Brands it retails include Stella McCartney, Yves Saint Laurent and Diane von Furstenberg. Labels such as Alexander Wang, Yves Saint Laurent and RM by Roland Moritz have created capsule collections specifically for the site. Writing in The Observer in 2010, Eva Wiseman noted that being stocked by Netta Porter is becoming important to designers as it not only guarantees new customers but its Netta Porter's credibility gives a fashion brand value. As of September 2013, Netta Porter employed 2,600 people in the UK, US, and Hong Kong with further offices in Shanghai and fulfillment centers on the outskirts of three cities. In August of 2014 CEO Mark Seber stepped down. His employees produced a video that went viral as an epic send-off. Equals brand extensions equals, the Outnet, a site focusing on previous season's designs at discount prices was launched in 2009. In 2011, a menswear site Mr. Porter was established and in 2013 a small beauty website was launched. In early 2014, Netta Porter launched a print magazine called Porter, with an associated app and digital version of the magazine. Some 400,000 copies will be distributed six times a year in 60 countries. Playing off of its name, Netta Porter recently added a sportswear section to their website called Netta Sporter. The sportswear section of the website was launched in July 2014 and hosts athletic wear from a variety of high-end luxury brands. Netta Sporter features 10 different sections for activities such as the gym and cross-train, run, yoga and dance, tennis, equestrian, swim and surf, sailing, April Air Sport, and golf. When speaking of the addition of Netta Sporter to the e-tailers online roster, the company's president Alison Loini said we spotted a gap in the market for being a one-stop shop for work out where where fashion meets function and where performance and style are equally valued. Charity Work In August 2014, the Outnet launched a partnership with fashion icon Victoria Beckham to sell items of her clothing to raise funds for the non-profit organization Mothers to Mothers to educate women in Africa on HIV prevention. References